motivated is my son and his condition. When he was diagnosed with autism, I had to do all the step by myself. And I was wondering, who, who, where are all these people, you know, like that, the, how can we, where are we going to start? Because they're going to just kind of uh, throw to you the, the diagnosis and just you have to go do it yourself. Because I had to do, uh, do a lot of homework, do a lot of research, and do the things. So I said, okay, well, I had to, to, to be a voice for him and a voice for other kids with disability. I speak five languages. So among the, those languages, I speak fluently uh, uh, Spanish. One time in, in a store, so I was talking to one of French, uh, one, uh, friend of mine and then the, uh, the clerk that was there, she was kind of pointing to us like with the signs, like telling us, you know, like you have to leave because, you know, and I know that we have actually like 15 minutes still left, but they just kind of the fact that they assume if you speak Spanish that you are Mexican or you are maybe like Latin, not knowing that I'm from completely like another country. She, her attitude was like, just okay, you know, you're Spanish people, just leave. Because even if you have 15 minutes, you're not allowed to stay in the store. Uh, what actually gave me hope the, for the future is my son. Uh, he's my pillar, he's my joy, my pride, and any uh, progress I see in him, I treasure it. And I see if my son, with all his condition, he can do this, that means anybody with the disability, with autism, or any related um, condition, they can do well. If I don't raise my voice, there is no change. And my hope also is to have a fully inclusive society that would celebrate the uh, people with the disability, with autism, and just kind of see them truly who they are. Uh, people that are talented, uh, incredible, and very, very, very passionate and amazing human being. I believe in uh, the, the kids and their abilities and different abilities, but they are, they are incredible human beings and they should have respect and acceptance within the, our society.